Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snowgardener307. We're here for day 16 of Vlogmas. I am up, I am showered, my family is still sleeping, but I have got some work to do for my girls brunch today. So I'm going to take you along as I make two recipes. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Our first recipe is going to be the chicken vegetable alfredo soup. And this is a Pampered Chef recipe. You can find this online as well. But here is the recipe if you want to take a picture of this screen. So we're gonna go ahead and get our veggies put in here. And you guys, I'm kind of changing this. Um, I'm kind of doubling the vegetables, but I'm tripling the sauce. And also, you know, I don't do exact measurements. These stick carrots or matched stick carrots are amazing for the soup. Um, makes life so much easier. So we've got broccoli carrots. And then we're gonna go ahead and do onions and red bell pepper. And this is when I love having frozen vegetables. And so this calls for about a cup of broccoli and I think it's a half a cup of the others. And I'm not really measuring. I just don't want to um, stick my hand into the bag of the frozen vegetables and contaminate them. So, while well, yes, I'm using a measuring cup, it's not to actually measure. So you can see that these are frozen. They're gonna be just fine. So we've got onions in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some red bell pepper. And we've got our carrots in there. And we're also going to add some garlic into this. So let's go ahead and get these frozen veggies in here. And then after we throw our garlic in there, we are going to go ahead and put some chicken broth in here and bring this to a boil. We're gonna bring this to a boil. It's gonna boil for about five minutes is all you guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our um, fresh basil and our Alfredo sauce, so it's super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And then for the chicken broth, I've got some homemade chicken broth that's in the home canned chicken that I am using. So you are going to see me measure this because I don't want to end up with a super runny soup and I don't know how much is in these jars. So I'm using three jars of my chicken because um, they weren't super full. So it looks like we've got close to a cup of homemade chicken broth. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And then we're going to go ahead and add some more broth in and oh, that's my bread. So I'll be right back. So this recipe calls for a can of chicken broth. Obviously I'm doing a double, kind of a triple batch. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some more chicken broth and put it in here so that the vegetables can boil in it. About that, I don't wanna to use too much because I don't want a runny soup. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring these vegetables to a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic as well. That's very carrot heavy. Apparently Marlene wanted lots of carrots today. And you guys, just like that, we've got soup. All you need to do, we're gonna add some fresh Parmesan to it when we serve it. And then you can add a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, I usually don't salt this one because the jarred Alfredo is salty. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a crock pot so it can stay warm. We're back. We're gonna go ahead and make the barbecue sauce for the tangy bacon bites. And this is a Pampered Chef recipe. So last night, to save myself some time, I went ahead and wrapped these. This is the pre-cooked bacon. Now the recipe calls for one package, but I always use two packages because I tend to not have enough if I don't. So, um, and I also cut the water chestnuts in half this time. And so all you do, take your water chestnut, take a half of a piece of the pre-cooked bacon, wrap it, put a toothpick through it. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and do our barbecue sauce. And of course, if you don't have time to make a barbecue sauce, you can go ahead and use a store-bought barbecue sauce, which is what I did last year for this brunch. 
However, I truly believe the homemade barbecue sauce does make a difference. So the recipe will be down below, but I'm going to put a half a cup of ketchup in here. And I realized I was just talking to Bridger. Him and I do not use very much ketchup now that um, neither of the kids live here with us. And then we're going to do a half a cup of brown sugar. And of course, my loving husband last night made me some a new brown sugar. I'm, this is one of the best things that I think we've done, sort of making our own brown sugar. It does not take much time at all, and it's so much tastier than the store-bought. So good. So good, right? Then we're going to go ahead and do one teaspoon of Dijon. Oops, I just threw Dijon all over the stove. Surprise, surprise. And you guys know how I am with measurements, especially stuff on this. Close enough is good enough. And then we're going to go ahead and do some apple cider vinegar. And I just thought of something. I normally barely have enough barbecue sauce to dip these. So I'm going to go ahead and add another little squirt of ketchup into there just to give me a little bit more. And then the last thing I'm going to add is some garlic. So I heard the funniest thing last night, and I'm sure some of you guys have heard this before, but it just cracked me up. Um, my daughter is here for, with us for the brunch and she was helping and everything and Bridger was talking and he was struggling with what he wanted to say and she said he's buffering you know like <laughs> I've never heard of that before so I thought that was funny so now that's what I'm always going to think of when I am filming these videos and can't think of what I need to say so that is our barbecue sauce right there you guys we do want to let this cook down a little bit and then once we let this cook down, I'll go ahead and show you guys really quick what we're going to do. We just take one of these and we just dip it in and we try to dip all over it. And if you have to, you can use your spoon. Go ahead and go like this and then shake off the excess. And then we're gonna bake these in the oven. It's day 16 of Advent calendars. We're gonna start with the Woodland Wonderland today. And I noticed that it is right next to the fire. So what do you guys think? I mean, hopefully it's not very big because if it is, it's gonna get burnt. <laughs> Let's take a look in our little book right here. And so we are looking for day 16, which is right here. Oh, it's a bunny and he's roasting a marshmallow. <laughs> I love it. How much fun is that? What a cute concept. All right, so a little bunny roasting a marshmallow. I'm gonna go ahead and switch hands so I can put this on with my right hand. So let's put the bunny close enough to where he's roasting the marshmallow, but not close enough where his fur is catching on fire. Oh my goodness, you guys. Come on, Marlene, get your fingers to work. There we go. So we've got a little bunny roasting a marshmallow for day 16. Oops, I just messed up the stickers. I just messed up the stickers. Let me turn the reindeer over. Okay, all right. So what do you guys think it's going to be? What do you think the advent calendar is gonna have in it? Let me know down below. My sister-in-law is a creative genius, I say. <laughs> so 25 days of stickers. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, yesterday I did so good and I opened it before I started filming. <laughs> To have two good days in a row and remember to open the little bag? No way. <laughs> oh, that one wasn't too bad. All right, let's see what day 16 is. I still vote for a penguin. <laughs> oh, is this a cockaburra? I don't know what this is. Shannon, what is this? He's so cute. Look at him. He looks kind of grumpy. I love it. <laughs> first, I thought a pig. I thought a pig at first. Ooh, you think she's going to have a pig in there? I hope so. I hope she's going to have a pig. All right, so now we have got to go to 24 Days of Sweets. And let's see what candy we have in there today. Go ahead and open this up. We have got another Christmas tree. We had a Christmas tree yesterday as well. So like I said, this won't be a candy calendar I buy again, just because it's all the same candy. But I know for a child that candy is candy, right? They're not going to care. And I'm sure they didn't make this type of calendar with me in mind. <laughs> now, Godiva, on the other hand, they made this with me in mind because they know I love chocolate and they know I love caramel, apparently, because there's lots of caramel in here. So day 16, down here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. See where we're at. 
Oh, we got another mint medallion. Ooh, those are so good, you guys. The mints are tasty, tasty. All right, let's go ahead and do our calendar. Day 16. Day 16 in the books. Here we are on our 16th day of Vlogmas. It's hard to believe we've gotten this far already. I am here to do my 12 days of Christmas savings challenge. I am loving this idea. A huge thank you to Official Budgets who added this 12 days of Christmas to my order. And it was in my cart and I wanted to get it, but I didn't. But I am so happy she sent it to me. And I am so excited to be saving for Christmas 2024 in 2023. So we are going to be doing, let's see, it looks like a number five. So let's go ahead and scratch off the fifth day of Christmas. And this one says two double. So of course that means four. Now, of course, the great thing with this type of challenge is that if you decide you don't have the money in your budget to do the double, or if you get a really big number, so say for example, that number, like I had no idea it was a big saving challenge and say that this number right here was $32. Instead of putting $32, I could do something fun like pick the first or the last number, or I could add the numbers together. So with savings challenges, they can fit any budget. So we've got $4 and I know I've got a one in here. So I'm going to grab $1 out and I'm going to go ahead and put $5 in. All right, everybody. Girls brunch year four is in the books. Oh my goodness. It was so fun. It is super late tonight. When you brunch at our house, it's not just for an hour or two. Um, let's see, this time I think we had people here for about seven hours. We had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, and a lot of mimosas. And everybody was in their comfy Christmas PJs. And these are mine Grinch PJs that I got from TJ Maxx. And they are super comfy. So I'm headed off to bed. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Thank you.